video we are going to see about a bulk recruitment drive from Wipro. So Wipro Elite NTH has been announced for the year of 2022. So here the biggest uh, attraction is that all the streams of B, B Tech is eligible and also MEM Tech. We are going to see about uh, the details of Elite NTH in today's video. We will be seeing what is the selection process, what are the compensation that they are offering, which all streams are eligible uh, and what is the application process. If you are interested, please do watch this video till the end. Also, if you are seeing the channel for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow us on our Instagram page. So, Wipro has announced Elite NTH 2022. Now, let's see what is the details. Before that, Elite NTH is Elite National Talent Hunt. Okay, so it is a fresher program for the years of pass out 2021 and 22. Okay, so mainly they are focusing on 21 and 22 engineering graduates. Okay, all the engineering uh, streams. Or, and also post graduation they are calling for registration starts from may 2nd so you can apply from may 2nd onwards and the registration ends by may 2022 okay so may 22 2022 that is the last date to apply okay online assessment will start from 21 to june 5th okay so in this period the test will be happening then there will be interviews that is going to be the selection process again Let's see what, which all streams are eligible. B, B Tech, uh, you should be having a B, B Tech that is mandatory or it is compulsory degree. Then MEM Tech is also eligible and five-year integrated courses. Okay. They have given that full-time recognized by central law, state government of India. So if you have studied B, B Tech uh, from any government approved colleges all around India, you can apply here. Okay. All the streams or all the branches are eligible except some specific uh, streams like fashion technology, textile engineering, agriculture and food technology. These are very specific streams and these streams are not eligible. Apart from these streams, all the streams are eligible. Okay. Now the percentage criteria they have mentioned is 60 percentage or 6.0 ZGPA. Now here the biggest attraction is that even if you are having backlogs you can apply here. We will see the details about that later on in today's video. Okay. So uh, percentage they have mentioned is 60 percentage you should be having in 10th, 12th and also in your uh, graduation. Okay. And year of passing we have already seen it is 21 and 22. Designation will be project engineer. Compensation also they have given uh, joining uh, it is it is 35 uh, there is uh, sorry it is 3.5 lakh per annum okay so your CTC is going to be 3.5 lakh per annum now the other criteria they have given is one backlog is allowed at the time of assessment stage if you are having one backlog you can apply at the time of assessment stage but within the uh, final year uh, final year so as I've told you, they have given that one backlog is allowed at the time of assessment stage. But after the assessment stage, there will be time for interview and then your uh, onboarding process and all. Right. So uh, till the time when your offer letter is being uh, handed over to you or uh, offer letter is being received, you have to clear one backlog. Okay. So they have uh, given that one backlog is allowed provided that you have to clear it by the time of joining. Okay. Maximum three year gap is allowed. Three year gap if you are having from 10th to graduation, you can apply here. Three years gap generally don't, uh, it is uh, not allowed by all the companies. Here they are actually giving some relaxations to the people who are facing some issues. Okay. Uh, sometimes there will be year gap uh, that will be the problem. Sometimes backlog will be the problem. So here they have uh, given some relaxations to the people like maximum three year gap is allowed and one backlog is allowed. Okay. So generally the companies they say that backlog is not allowed but here one backlog is allowed. Okay. So these are the main things which you have to keep in mind while applying salary we have already seen it is 3.5 lakhs per annum is the CTC. Okay. Now let us have a look on the evaluation process they have given the detailed evaluation uh, step by step. Okay. So first is your registration then online assessment then business discussion LOI and uh, offer letter. Okay. Now. Online assessment will be consisting of uh, questions from aptitude, written communication test, online programming test. These are the main three stages. Okay. Aptitude test will be covering logical ability, quantitative ability, English, verbal ability and the duration is 48 minutes. Communication test means essay writing. Duration 20 minutes. Online programming test, two programming 
or two coding questions will be given time duration is 60 minutes and also the candidate has a freedom to choose from the languages java c c++ or python okay so these are the requirements as per the current industry demands these languages you can actually choose from uh, these options whichever uh, language you are comfortable with you have to answer two coding questions in any of this language it can be java python c c++ okay and the last day to apply we have seen it is may 22nd okay also they have given some general conditions which you can read but all the other details we have seen here so this is a bulk recruitment it is a very mass recruitment drive conducted for the engineering graduates of 21 and 22 year of pass out by wipro so if you are uh, interested in joining the company this is the right time for you uh, and try to uh, read the notification and detail before applying we have seen anyway we have seen all the details but again if you are having some doubt they have actually divided the notification as various sessions and they have given the details okay so just go through the notification before applying so that's all for today's video thanks for watching and keep on watching